Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to Jade Soft Tech. In this session, we're going to discuss the project number seven in SAP ABAP, a report to display data from multiple tables into a basic output data, a basic output uh, display screen. So that's what we are going to discuss in this particular uh, project. If at all, if you if, if you like our channel, you can click on like button for the videos that you have liked and you please share with your friends so that it will help them as well. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel and to, to get the notifications for the future videos. And also, do not forget to click on the bell button. Okay. So now in this uh, project, we are going to discuss a uh, development of a report program to display the data from sales order header and item data onto a single screen. And uh, the client says that you need to select, you need to uh, make sure that you have a select option based on sales order number. This is actually the requirement, and uh, you'll have this requirement very detailedly in the technical specification, wherein the naming conventions and what are the fields that has to be taken also will be clearly mentioned. So, you know, uh, if at all, if any one of you would like to also understand the technical specification, do write it in the comments. I'll also explain you how to understand the technical specification in the future. Okay, so we'll start with the development now. So I create a program called ZJHSoftTech underscore sales order report. The naming convention of the program also will be given by the client. So we need to follow the naming conventions given by the client for the creating the program as well. And if at all, if you are not sure about the naming conventions, you can check out the previous programs that have done by someone some other developers and then you can make out what exactly is the naming convention of that particular client so once we have this as of now i'll click uh, I'll, I'll save it in the local object only but you all know that uh, in the in the development project you always have to make sure you you have to save it in a package because those have to be transported from development to quality quality to production whenever you save anything in the the local object you will not be able to transport them to quality and production they are just for your practice purpose that's it so you'll not be able to save it so in this we'll be using two tables actually one is the vbak and another is the vbap tables so vbak vbap tables are the ones we actually been using in this so and i'll be showing you the tables vbak vbap as well so let me first write the tables that we are using here two tables vbak and vbap and once it's been done, we we are going to write the structure here. BBL, BB, SAL. I'll give it a sale because it has two tables. So end of ST underscore SAL. Now in this, I'd be taking VBLN and. Uh, remember that if at all if you don't have a common field between the two tables uh, you will not be able to uh, you know create a particular join between the two tables you cannot uh, join the two tables so basically we are we are joining the tables so we have erdat type erdat and we have er in am type er in am these are the fields that we have in the bbak table uh, I'll be showing you the table. Let's look at the VBAP table as well. Now here we have VBAK table. This is the sales order header table from which the client wants us to take a couple of fields. He, the client will give you the specific fields that you need in, in the requirement. So as of now we are assuming three fields for our comfort because if we do it with more number of fields it will take more time so all that you have to do is you have to understand the concept here and do it with multiple tables when you are practicing it maybe with five or ten fields something like that so vbl and erdat and ERNEM are the fields that we are taking from here and uh, we'll take so this is the vbl and underscore va we have the data element as vbl underscore va the reason in the in the in the program also we have taken it as vbln underscore va now we'll take two more fields just two fields from the vbap table they are pure snr type pure snr and matnr type matnr 
now these are the fields that we have here so uh, once we have to have completed this you can go ahead and uh, go ahead with the data it underscore sel type standard table of st underscore sel and blue underscore sel type st underscore sel now these are the two things that we have select options s underscore sel type standard table of st underscore sel sorry so here we are going to give the select option so when we are getting select options i'll give it as s underscore vbeln for vbak hyphen vbeln this is the select options that we are mentioning here and then we'll write the select statement in the select statement this is the this is where there is a slight change here it will not be a normal select statement we'll be using inner join so we'll be using inner join and writing this so select statement using inner join so this is one line that you need to focus more upon because this is something which is um, you know specifically used only in inner, inner join this concept so vbak built vbeln we have vbak tilt prdat vbak tilt prnam and then we have vbap tilt pysnr vbap tilt matnr from vbak inner join vbap on vb vbak tilt vbln is equals to vbap tilt bln this is a joining this is a common field between the two tables this is mandatory for us and we'll put the where condition for the select option so it will in s underscore vbln so this is basically the concept on which we are joining the two tables here so we once we do this we just need to go ahead and write the loop at it underscore sl into w underscore sl and loop so in this we are just writing write statement write w underscore sal hyphen vbln so we just have this particular field names here erdat erinam usnr matnr and these are the fields that we are getting it from the first and second tables so once it's been done we'll be able to process the error so we need to write this into actually i missed a logic here into table it underscore is here it's missing here so i have added it now so when we say vbln we should say vbak tilt vbln here and once it's been done we'll be able to execute it so when we when we give some input values here 1000 and 5000 is what i'm giving input and let's see if there is data if there is data it's going to stay here so we can have a slash here since I don't have the slash here, it was coming in the same line. The output, each output should come in the next line. So now the output will come in next line. Now this is the data that we are expecting uh, from the two tables. We can also keep, we can also improve the aesthetics of it by keeping heading and all these things, which I'm going to discuss in the next coming session. So these are the things that we are actually you know looking out it's a simple program in which we are the basic 
focus in this particular project is on the inner join concept wherein you have joined the data from two tables and uh, put it in the in the single internal table that's it so in the sec in the next next project we'll be discussing about joining three tables wherein we can get the data from three different tables and into a single table 